Okay, especially for everybody who's tired of our normal South Texas summers, it was a perfect day yesterday. Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, again, we didn't get out of the 60s yesterday. That probably was the reason yeah, right there. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, when we talk about perfect weather, I think that's the definition of it. You know, 60s, 70s. really can't. With no wind, sunny. Gorgeous, although, crystal clear. Although I do like a breeze when it's like in the 60s and well, 70s. Especially when it's in the 90s. That's when, <laughs> that's when I need my breeze. <laughs> that's that when we great. need windy conditions, right? Yeah, and we have a cold front on the way. It's going to be the strongest one of the season. And, you know, when we talk about strong cold fronts, we want to talk about the potential of freezing. Now, typically in South Texas and more importantly, more specifically, the coastal bend in our neck of the woods, we typically don't see a freeze on average until after November 28th. There have been abnormal years where we've seen it in October, early November, and also other abnormal years as late as January and February. So that's just a look at what we could typically see in a average year. All right, tower cam showing a beautiful sunrise. 52 degrees currently and you compare that to normal around 58 is where we should be in our overnights in the early to mid November time frame dew points at 49 north wind at five miles an hour. So you know we're still filtering in cooler and drier air and you can see that on temperatures out across the map right now. A couple 40s popping up out to our north and northwest 48 over in Mathis 49 in Ingleside. And how about Robstown? Good morning to everyone out there. 51, a touch warmer in Kingsville. How about Alice at 42 degrees on this Sunday morning? Now we'll start to warm up nicely. Another fantastic day really over South Texas. High temperatures in the mid 60s in some spots. I do think we hit the low to mid 70s out across the area and then a little bit more warmer in the overnights into late tomorrow and also early Monday morning. That's the thanks to the return of the south wind from the Gulf of Mexico. Now it's not going to be breezy 10 to 15 miles per hour at best, uh, but what's going to do it's going to pour in more moisture, which is going to help with rain chances mainly on Tuesday out in front of this next cold front. Look at this. This timing it's looking like Monday night between about 7 and 9 p.m. As it pushes through a really nice gust of cold, polar, and also drier air. Meantime, we're talking about cloud cover right across South Texas, not generating any rain. We just have a really look at look at this, a conveyor belt of moisture working in from Mexico, also from the Baja, and you can see the uh, West Texas area, the panhandle kind of socked in in the cloud cover on this Sunday morning. So we're kind of uh, stacking moisture. We have good moisture from the mid to upper levels, also some moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. So we have good moisture out across this vertical layer. And that's what's going to help again with some rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday. So what we're looking for is another dip in the jet. This helps dislodge colder air. When you see these troughs or these dips in the jet stream, this is, what's help, this is what helps kind of this cold air push in from the north. In fact, we're looking at this cold air mass coming in from Canada and with it going to be the strongest cold front of the season. Now again, timing Monday night between about seven and nine is what our model guidance is looking at. And again, look at this, even some frozen precip out across the Concho Valley, parts near the Big Bend and also the Texas Hill Country. So if you have any family near Kerrville, maybe near Bernie, north of San Antonio, there is a chance they might see a little bit of wintry precip in that area. Other than that, scattered showers for our area, lingering cloud cover, and also another small chance of rain into Wednesday and Thursday. But I do think Tuesday will be our main bulk of rain with isolated showers working in for Thursday and Friday. And after, after that, we clear out nicely for the weekend, mostly sunny by Saturday and also into Sunday. But this cold front really going to show itself. Look at this. We go from a high temperature of 80 on Monday down to an overnight low of 39. Not to mention the wind chill on this 39 will be in the low 30s, possibly in the upper 20s. So on top of this cold polar air, the wind's going to be gusty around 25 to 30 miles an hour, and that just keeps us on the roller coaster into Thursday and Friday with a decent warm up mid 60s through uh, early next weekend. Our seven day forecast showing the big picture. Look at this. You know, get ready for this really abrupt change in weather. We go from 80 on Monday to 47 on Tuesday. We don't get out of the 40s again on Tuesday, and we stay like that for Wednesday. Scattered showers in the forecast through about Thursday, and you know, it's just going to be a cold, damp, and very gloomy weather pattern until Friday. We start to warm up closely into the mid-60s with high temperatures around 68 by Saturday afternoon.